I'll show you a particularly challenging project, which is the automatic feeding of this super small O-ring, and it also needs to identify the front and back. It's hard to tell the front and back of this thing with the naked eye. Now I have one front and one back in my hand. Can you tell the difference? Usually, workers operate it under a magnifying glass. There are two small grooves on the front of this part, and there are words in the grooves. Because the overall size of the part is very small, the size of the grooves is even smaller. Can the camera recognize it? Let's use a conventional loading station to test it first. When the part is still, the camera takes a picture. You will find that the entire image is still very blurry and the details cannot be presented. Because in conventional loading stations, in order to facilitate robot material collection, the camera is relatively high from the plate. It is no problem for ordinary materials, but the details of this ultra-small material cannot be presented. If you directly lower the height of the camera, it will be very troublesome. How to solve this problem? The simplest way is to not identify the front and back at this step, but to capture both sides and then put them on a buffer mechanism. Adjust the camera height to within 15 centimeters. If it is the front side, just pass it directly, and if it is the back side, flip it. When the camera height is adjusted to within 15 centimeters, the details of the part are particularly clear, and it is easy to identify the front and back.